we would like to welcome you to our special interview with one of the author of a book, Non-Communicable Disease Prevention, Best Buys, Wasted Buys, and Contestable Buys. First of all, I would like to put the name to the voice. My name is Wan Riti Islanuachai. I am a senior researcher at the Health Intervention and Technology Assessment Program or HITAP in Thailand and assistant professor at the University of Toronto. And here with me is Dr. Calypso Shokidu, who is the director of Global Health Policy for the Center for Global Development based in London and a professor of practice in global health at Imperial College London. She is a co-author of chapter 9 of our book, which is Deliberative Processes in Decision About Best Buys, Wasted Buys, and Contestable Buys, Uncertainty and Credibility. Calypso, thank you so much for participating in this interview. Thank you. Okay. Um, can you please tell us in 15 seconds what your chapter is about? Thank you. Our chapter is about deliberation and deliberation as a means of eliciting and incorporating value judgments in the decision-making process. It is about reviewing the whole notion of evidence through the lens of deliberation and through the perspective of all the different stakeholders who are important in decision-making, either in making a decision and or benefiting or not from the result of the decision. So we want to explore in our chapter issues of uncertainty, the process and the credibility of the process, and then the nature of the final decisions. And we discuss a series of case studies to do so. We think what makes decisions credible is due deliberative process. And this is what our chapter is about. All right, thank you. Now, you kind of touched on a little bit already, but I'll restate again um, in case you have additional thing to add, which is one is why is having deliberative processes important for decision making? So anyone who's involved in making decisions about NCDs and more broadly about healthcare and health policy, whether it's prevention, treatment, everyone is aware or ought to be aware that social values are very important and permeate all the aspects of the decision making process. And those decisions cannot just be technical or scientific. They have to be about exercising judgment. And this can be judgment about uh, scientific aspects of the decision-making process, the quality of the evidence, for instance, or indeed judgments about practicalities of implementation. And of course, judgments about the politics, the feasibility, the acceptability of a decision. So it is really important that these value judgments are elicited and then incorporate it into the decision-making process. Mm -hmm. And we think that the best way for doing that mm -hmm. is not to, through algorithms or mathematics, mm -hmm. but rather through deliberation, engagement and discussion. That is very, very helpful. So then can you highlight some key elements of evidence-based deliberative processes? Well, that's a very good question. And there's, uh, there's there have been uh, several occasions where the principles of deliberation, evidence-informed policymaking have been articulated. But I would argue that things such as, for instance, stakeholder inclusiveness, transparency of the information so people can access the information that led to the decision, the decision itself, but also the process through which this information was uh, assessed and informed the decision. Uh, timeliness of the decision-making process so that it is relevant to policymakers. Independence so that um, uh, the deliberative process engages obviously mm -hmm. everybody who ought to be engaged but conflicts of interest are made uh, transparent, funding sources are made transparent so people can make their own judgments about the legitimacy of the process. So these are some of the elements, the principles that could be and should be made operational as one sets up such deliberative mechanisms. Thank you. Okay, so final question. Why should readers should not miss reading this chapter? Okay, well, it's because deliberation and our chapter discussing, discussing deliberation gets to the heart of decision making. It's about facing up to the difficulties that are inevitable, the tough trade-offs of making decisions in healthcare policy making. And our chapter is about the importance of, through deliberation, making these choices explicit and transparent rather than burying them. <laughs> it's about demonstrating how reasonable the processes may be in the way the evidence is handled. And it's about ultimately the credibility of the process. So anyone who's interested in evidence-informed policy making ought to be interested in credibility and legitimacy. And you can only get to these two things through a deliberative process. 
And that is our special interview for today. Thank you for listening and don't forget to stay tuned to our next launch.